Police are still looking for four men they say drove by a Lyft driver and started firing. Now we're learning new details about that driver and the family he left behind. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza joins us from the intersection of Roosevelt and Blue Island Avenue where this happened. Sabrina. Milton Fernando Piacela Ayora moved to the United States from Ecuador 15 years ago. The eldest brother to three younger siblings. His family tells CBS2 he just wanted to find a better life, working part time at a restaurant and part time for Lyft when this happened. He happened to be on the phone with one of his younger brothers when shots rang out. A brother's last moments heard on the other line. Now a memorial stands where Pia Sela Ayota was stopped at a red light where that call ended. You never know what you're going to get when you pick up a passenger. Lenny Sanchez represents rideshare workers in Illinois. These are good individuals, hardworking, honest people that are taking these risks and having to deal with the aftermath of it and these families that have to pick up the pieces afterwards. It's just heartbreaking. This attack was by no means the first of its kind. We've been telling you about attacks on rideshare workers for months. You're sometimes picking up somebody that has the intention of either scamming you for your earnings or trying to rob you of your belongings. Or in this case, they're using you to evade a crime. In this latest case, police have not confirmed who was the intended target. The driver's family believes it was a passenger. A 34-year-old man shot in the legs, taken to Stroger Hospital, and expected to make a full recovery. Now, we have reached out to Lyft to see if they have a response to all of this, and they have not gotten back to our request. We will keep following up. I Meanwhile, well, police say they are still looking for the four people that drove off in that vehicle. There are no arrests at this time. We're on the near west side. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.